our motto has always been, all we have to sell is our service. There's a lot of trucking companies out there that have the trailers that we have that can service the same people that we service. But our goal is always to provide our customers with the best service available. And I think we've done a good job at that. This might be funny to some of the people that are watching this video because obviously I can be stern and argumentative at times, but overall I would say I have a fairly laid back style of leadership. My thought is always surround yourself with good people, people that know their job and know how to do it well, and then let them roll, right? That's the best way to run a business. I would say two of my core principles though that I use a lot in my leadership is one, we operate by the rules. And two, we treat everybody, customers, drivers, employees, whatever, treat them as you want to be treated. Honestly, my biggest motivation probably is to not let my dad down. I'm gonna work really hard to make sure everybody's doing the best they can, working to continue the legacy that was left to us and to help Weinrich Truck Line succeed. I'm the youngest of four daughters, Bill and Donna Weinrich, so I've been around trucks and drivers all my life. By the time I was born, Weinrich Truck Line was already up and running. Honestly, I could say that I was born into it. I met Barry, who became the love of my life, uh, back when I was only 15 years old. About 20 years ago, Barry and I decided to get into the wine business as a hobby. Little did we know it would grow into a vineyard and a winery and a tasting room and an event center. It has become a lot of work, but a really fun adventure. My dad used to say that he was third generation trucker. His grandfather had a farm to market drayage company and his father had a grain and livestock hauling operation, which is where my dad learned how to drive. When his dad died, Bill and Donna then bought their first truck and started in 1960 what we have today. So they ran it out of our house. And then in 1980, we bought this property and built this terminal. Up until that point, we had really just been grain and uh, drive van freight. But when we moved here, we built the wash bay and, and grew our tank business because that was when liquid bulk was really growing. And so we focused on that. In 1994 is when my dad was uh, killed, and that's when my mom and us kids had to take over. We were devastated. My dad had been at a Nebraska Trucking Association meeting. He had just recently got his own private pilot's license, and we knew when he got his pilot's license, he was a risk taker. So the fear that he would fly a plane when he shouldn't have been flying was definitely in our hearts. He had only had his pilot's license for one month. He was trying to get home for his oldest grandson's 18th birthday. He flew when he shouldn't have. The devastation, surprise, the digging out um, that we all had to do after that was seemed insurmountable most days. But my mom, her courage was unbelievable. And she showed us all the path where you put one foot in front of the other and you take one problem one day at a time and you, you survive. And that's what we did. Working with family is, is difficult some days, but it also can be very rewarding. We have three amazing children, Marcus, Stephanie, and Shelby. Shelby actually has now joined the company, so she truly has made us back to a three-generation operation. We've now got the beauty of adding a daughter-in-law and a great son-in-law and two beautiful grandchildren that we get to have in our world. And so we are very truly blessed. There was a time frame there where I was not going to come into the family business. When I was away at college studying accounting, there would be people that would say, you have a job all lined up for you and waiting for you. And I would just counter with, I can't work for him. We are too much alike. 
and we, that would never work. Thankfully, he uh, convinced me otherwise. And in November 1987, I joined the team here. I got to listen and learn and watch him in the industry. And not only in business, but just in life, we had great conversations. And it was the best six years I got. And uh, well, I'll always be grateful for that. I mean, he was smart and innovative beyond words. And truly for years, I thought that he was the brains and the brawn behind Weinrich Truck Line. When he left us so suddenly and my mom had to take over, I quickly realized that they truly were a team and they were equally responsible for the success of this company. To be able to watch her when she took over in 1994, it was absolutely a man's world. There was a couple of the drivers that said they didn't know if they wanted to work for a woman-owned company, but Donna quickly reassured them that she could run it the way it was run in the past and, and obviously do better even at some things. We were also very fortunate that Donna and I had already been involved at the level we were because we already had great relationships with the banks, our customers, and some of those things, people that were crucial in our continuation. So there was no hesitation that we could go forward the way we did. Probably the part I'm looking forward to the most is really being able to get back out and see the members person to person again. I mean, we've missed so much of that in the last year or so. I'm also anxious to be able to meet some of the new, some of the other members that I haven't been able to meet yet and listen to their concerns. One of the things that I like about being a member of Iowa Motor Truck Association the most is the people. You look at our group whenever we gather, the amount of knowledge that's in that room, um, not just trucking knowledge, but business knowledge or life lessons in general, right? There's so many people there that you can listen and learn from, and there's no better education. You can't find a school or a college or a university of any kind that can teach you the same things that you can learn from this group of people. And to me, that's the most valuable right there. Honestly, the people we've been able to get to know through our association, whether it's Iowa Motor Truck or the American Trucking Association or truckload carriers, all of them, the people become like extended family and they're there to help you. We can be fierce competitors, but in the time of need, you have a friend you can call on. Probably the number one problem facing the industry again is driver shortage. And honestly, I can't say that driver shortage in all the years I've been in the business hasn't been a top concern, or at least the top three. It's always been there. Unfortunately, with coming out of the pandemic and the world we're in right now, the driver shortage has reached a new level. We really need to focus on how to get more people, younger people into the industry. That's a key. Infrastructure is another obviously high priority in the industry. The roads and bridges that our guys travel on every day are crumbling in the extreme. And that's not only dangerous for our drivers, but it's damaging to our equipment. So we need to keep pushing our legislators to do what's right, find the funding that they need, and get this ball rolling so that we can have better roads and bridges out there. And then on the state level, well, really on the national level as well, we need to keep pushing on the tort reform that we started. We started this project a year or so ago, and it's vital that we keep pushing. The cost of our insurance, because of all the higher risk due to these ridiculous nuclear verdicts that are being passed, we can't sustain that level of expense anymore or the level of risk that's out there, the Iowa Motor Truck Association. It's literally the best investment you can make for your company. The lessons that you can learn from the other members, the help that you can get through the association for problems that you might not be able to handle on your own, and just the ease of being involved all add up to a great return on your investment whether you're in Des Moines or in D.C. and you can have a sit-down meeting with Governor Reynolds or Senator Grassley, Senator Ernst, or any of the legislative people out there. And they're listening to your 
concerns and they're taking your point of view into consideration. I mean, there's no other, there's no better way to get your voice heard than be a part of the Iowa Motor Truck Association. I'd also like to throw out the fact that you don't have to be a big carrier. You can be a small carrier, woman owned, family owned, you know, out in the middle of Northwest Iowa and still be involved and be involved at a very high level. So get involved. It's the only way to do it. I would hope that I'm remembered for being honest and straightforward. If you ask me a question, I'm gonna give you the God's honest truth. It might come out pretty crude sometimes, but if I give you an answer, it'll be one you can take to the bank. I will always, always support, promote, and defend and have our drivers' backs. The drivers are the key to our industry and they need our support and respect. I've put a lot of time and energy into the MH programs, both at the American Trucking Association and the Truckload Carriers, because I think building the image of the trucking industry as a whole, and specifically for the drivers, and showing that it can be a great career for an individual, that's the only way we're gonna be able to draw more people into this industry, and that's vital to our survival. I was always taught, you don't sit on the sidelines. You step up, you get involved, and I did, and I, I will never regret that. The members that we have, the leaders that we have, our staff, second to none. I can't tell you how many national events that we've been at where people have told me, your Iowa Motor Truck Association is classy, great group, does an awesome, phenomenal job, and I couldn't agree more. So in order to be involved in a class act like that and to be honored with the chairmanship, I mean, that's an incredible reward for the years of membership that we've put in. I'm beyond humbled and honored to be able to be the chairman of the Iowa Motor Truck Association. I will do all in my power to represent our members with class, grit, courage, and integrity. And I hope and pray that at the end of my term, I haven't let you down. I look forward to our year ahead. Thank you very much.